Hey everybody, this is Josh Weidman. I want to thank you for joining me and I would like to talk today about uh, something that I think is, is pretty interesting and that is um, some unique investment benefits uh, to real, real estate. They're unique to real estate uh, than, you know, different than a lot of other investment vehicles. And, the, you know, specifically I'm going to talk about the idea of leverage and how using leverage you can increase the returns on your um, on your investments and also I want to talk about some of the multiple streams of income that um, are available and multiple streams of profit that are going to come in from a real estate investment so let's start with leverage all right what is leverage you know th there was um, <laughs> a great mathematician once said that uh, give me a long enough lever and I'll move the earth okay leverage is the idea of um, force over distance. In this instance, we're talking about leveraging the capital that we're investing into a property and using other people's money so that we can increase the, the uh, purchasing power of that capital. What am I talking about? Well, how many times have you ever purchased a, an investment property or better yet, a single family home and come out of pocket and paid all cash for that investment? There are people that do it, but it's not very common. What you typically do is put down 10, 20, 30 percent, whatever. You're going to put down an, a, a deposit on that house. You're going to put your own money into the property. And what that's going to do is the bank is going to pay the rest of it. The amazing thing is that if you put 25 percent down on a property, the bank is going to love you, first of all. And then they're going to come out and they are going to give you 75 percent of the, of the uh, value of that property. So you're going to have ownership and control of an asset that is four times you know, your, your purchasing capital. It's kind of like if you would go to, uh, I don't know, you, you go to Walmart. Let's say you're, you're uh, picking some things up at Walmart and you go out there and you walk in and um, you, know, you have $5 in your pocket, but they, they let you buy $20 worth of goods. <laughs> like, Okay, great. Load up the cart. You know, uh, it, it's it's that kind of idea. That's what that's what you're able to do um, when you're leveraging your capital and investment money on a piece of real estate. Why is that a big deal? Because leveraged investments equal a leveraged return. I'd like to share a little bit of, a, of an example with you here on side by side comparison between a 10% increase in uh, a uh, asset value between a stock and between a piece of real estate. Now, let's say in both instances, you've got $25,000 in, in uh, money to invest. You've got $25,000 in capital, and you go to the stock market, you buy $25,000 worth of stock. Take that same $25,000, and you go into the real estate market, and you buy an investment property. But you're able to leverage that $25,000, so the asset value, what you're purchasing, is $100,000 with real estate, and $25,000 in the stock market. Now we both know that you only really own 25% of this uh, of this asset outright. You know you, that you have 25% equity in that property, and you have 100% in the stock market. But wait, let's let's check something out here. What if both of those assets increase by 10%? All right, the stock market goes up, and the real estate prices go up. Now I'm not talking about overnight, but in the same period of time. You've got gradual increases. Maybe it's overnight. Maybe it's over the course of a couple years. But in the case of the stock, we're looking at a $2,500 return. So 10% on your money, great. On the other side of things, we have a same 10% return in value. And now we're looking at $10,000. What's the difference to our bottom line? Let's take a look at this. A return of 10% in the stock market. But on the same piece of real estate with the same $25,000 investment, we have a 40% return on investment. That's a 400% greater return in the real estate market as opposed to the stock market with the same small 10% gain. This is you know, pretty typical um, with a real estate investment. It's something that is different that you're not gonna see in the stock market unless you're a day trader and you've got a boatload of capital to invest. But it's in a, in a typical uh, stock portfolio, you're not gonna see this type of thing. Uh, in, in the real estate market, this is, this is part of, um, you know, very much part of the industry, whether you're buying a single family home to m move into and live in, or you're buying an apartment building, you're gonna invest your own capital, but it's only a fraction 
of, you know, of, of the value of the asset that you're going to be able to own and control. And that kind of leads me to this multiple, multiple streams of income or, or multiple returns that we get from real estate. This is very unique uh, as, a, um, as an investment. You know, there's a lot of stocks out there that, will, uh, that are now offering dividends. You know, you get a, a, um, an annual or a quarterly or a monthly payout um, on, on the stock that you own. But typically, it's not a whole lot of money. It's, you know, a few bucks. <laughs> the dividends from a rental, uh, a rental property, these are coming in monthly rent checks. It's amazing. You got this rental property, you have a tenant that moves in, and you get cash flow. So that's really nice. Every month, you've got money that you can live on. They send you a check, it goes right in your pocket. That's great. In addition to those dividends, we also have appreciation. You know, appreciation is a little bit different than um, you know, what you can maybe expect in the stock market or not expect. If we look at a very short period of time, it can be a little bit deceiving. You're gonna have market fluctuations. Prices are gonna go up, they're gonna go down, slightly. But over time, over the last 20 years, in fact, we've seen consistent increases of one and a half to 3% per year you know, in, in markets across the country. So you can count on some appreciation. We're not talking about, you know, uh, tons and tons and tons of, of, uh, of returns here. But when you put these things together, what we have here is on the dividends end, our clients at, at turn, um, you know, we, we s anticipate seeing anywhere from a 10 to 15% return on investment on the dividends end. And this is after expenses, because we're gonna get down here to some principal reduction as well. But uh, then we have appreciation of, let's just say one and a half percent a year. Now we get to the principal reduction. This is my very, very favorite part, and this is a great illustration of leveraging other people's money. You've got your 25% or your $25,000 in this property, and every month, you've got a resident that sends you a check. And, you know, of course, part of that check is going to be used to pay maintenance on the property and probably management because you don't want, you know, you don't want the hassle of dealing with, with um, maintenance and management and, and dealing with the tenants and things like that. But so some of that money goes aside there. Some of it's going to have to go for property taxes. A little bit of it's going to have to go, um, you know, just towards general upkeep. And then you've got your, um, then you've got your principal pay down. And if you have a 30-year mortgage, you know, certainly it's going to be weighted towards the back end. But guess what? Every single month, that tenant is making a payment that's paying down that principal. And over time, they're paying off the house. So not only are you able to, you know, if there's an increase in the property value, if you, you see this, as you see this appreciation, the values go up, you're also seeing principal reduction of that 75% that was leveraged by the bank. So over time, again, this is not money that's coming out of your pocket. This is money that somebody else is paying to pay down that principal. So, you know, as you can see, there's multiple returns. It's, it's really good returns. And I always think it's interesting how, uh, you know, each investment vehicle is a little bit different. Real estate is one of my favorites. And I just wanted to show some unique aspects and unique benefits to investing in real estate. That's it for today. We'll see you next time.